Tips for fostering pets. To learn a little bit more about fostering, I talked to Brittany at Greenville Humane Society about their foster program. My name is Brittany. Uh, I'm a foster assistant, um, and I basically medicate all of the animals. I take care of all of the sick animals. Uh, well, me and my team, um, and uh, basically help to t help the vet take care of all of the animals within the humane society. So fostering is a free way to be able to take care of the animals here. Um, you would take the animal for seven days um, at your home, depending on the animal, um, and basically get them out of this stressful environment where a lot of um, illnesses can arise, uh, like kennel cough, um, upper respiratory infections, um, even really bad stuff like carbo. Um, we want to get the animals out of here for as long as we can to get them healthy um, and eventually get adopted. So most of the animals that you're going to foster are going to be sick. So most of the time we recommend keeping your own animals separated from them. I mean you can put them together, you know, especially if you have a puppy that you, you want to foster to possibly adopt. Uh, we have a lot of people who do that. Um, and some people want to have a puppy and see how they do with their animals. Um, the only thing is, we can only give medications for our animals. If a foster's animals get sick, um, we can't really take care of that. So there is, you know, a risk that way with kennel cough and upper respiratory infection. It's a lot like having a cold, um, but it's also going to help socialize them if they do, if they are around other animals. So usually, if somebody has a cat. We'll say maybe a puppy would be better, vice versa, um, and it also socializes them as well as like they're not spreading disease or anything. General tips: If you're taking them outside, I would keep them in like more of an isolated area. If, don't take them to dog parks or like um, social events with lots of dogs, um, and uh, always look out for worsening symptoms, um, of course. You want to make sure that they're getting better in numbers. Um, so always checking their noses, um, making sure that uh, they're not getting super snotty or getting uh, more symptoms. Um, like if they're having a respiratory and they start coughing, um, that's not normal. So they would need more medication. Um, and always looking at uh, their poop. <laughs> always watch their poop because <laughs> That is really important, it seems really silly, but um, once they start having diarrhea, they can get dehydrated really quick, and um, basically, we want them to be healthy as possible, so um, getting them checked up is, is really um, important, and keeping them healthy is really important. Fostering can be a great way to help save pets' lives, but it's very important to do your research and make sure you do it responsibly. If you are interested in fostering, Check out our Critter blog post for a much more in-depth look on what it takes to foster. You need to make sure you can handle the responsibility before you take in new foster pets. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more pet videos.